Okay, welcome to how to fill out a, an agreement. What we use is Adobe fill and sign from a iPhone or a iPad. If you do not have those two tools, then you would use a computer to fill this out. And we would give you the information to do so. So in regards to this training, we're going to be on a computer so I can show you how I'm gathering this information again. All right. This is the Carol Bradford Incorporated. These are their license numbers for general contractor and roofing contractor. And this agreement's subject to the insurance company's approval. So um, basically what that means is uh, we're going to be submitting a different estimate um, that's higher value. But what we are doing is writing people up into an agreement for what they currently got approved for so that we can supplement and build the insurance company later. So here's how I found the information uh, on the insurance estimate. Have you seen the other tutorials? Same estimate. This is Adam Smith. I put that information here. The date that we signed the agreement. Pretty simple stuff. Property location. Find that right here. And uh, city zip code. As you can see, this is I think I screwed up. It's 338. 33813 is their actual zip. We would, oh, it's missing a uh, number here, I think. So anyway, I would correct that. Uh, email adamsmith8912 at gmail.com. HOA, Homeowners Association Approval. Um, you'll be notified by your leader if they're inside one. Also, the homeowner might know if they're in that uh, homeowners association. What that means is, the homeowners pull together to have certain things in their neighborhoods, mailboxes, roof colors. That's that's what that means. Typically, it's going to be no. Um, maybe it might be yes, but you'll find out from your leader or from the homeowner. Okay. The next information um, is what we're always going to install, which is uh, roof specifications. This is our GAF Timberline system. Uh, HD means high definition. They picked a charcoal color. Construction type. We are always going to do remove and replace. Usually what we've been finding out here is it's a one story house out in Florida. The pitch is typically walkable, which is around a 612, maybe even 712. Uh, I've been noticing these mostly 612s. We're going to typically only tear off one layer all the time. You might find two layers down here, but standard is one layer tear off. These are your pipes that come out. Typically, there's two of them. People have two bathrooms down here. Maybe somebody has one. Maybe they have five. You just count them up. And typically, two inches is what we uh, account for. You can see how thick the pipes are um, from photos or from doing an inspection. If you don't have the opportunity to do the inspection, you can get this information from your leader. Um, but learn this information so you know how to write this up. We are always going to do a closed valley. It's called a California weave, and that will always be checked, a closed valley, California weave. Underlayment is synthetic. Always we use synthetic. Usually it's called like deck armor. There's other variations uh, from GAF. Ventilation is a four-foot Typical ventilation, um, it's this little box that is about four feet long by two feet. Typically on this one, on this house, there was two, and we're going to make them black since they picked a black roof. Uh, pretty simplistic. Drip edge, that goes around the whole perimeter of the roof. That's the metal, uh, the little thin piece of metal that we um, seal down with silicone. We're going to pick white because his fascia and soffit are white. Um, he has one bathroom vent, it's four inch, it's black. You can notice those when you're up there. There are no skylights. There's no lumber that we need at this point. On the addendum you'll see next is where we write up that we include two boards if needed. On this roof, there is no flat roof. That would be a one to 312 pitch, uh, one to 212 which is very walkable, the lower the pitch. Um, there's nothing that we're doing here. There's no solar of any kind for pools or anything, so we're just going to put NA. 
there's nothing miscellaneous that we need to state here. Um, the delivery notes, you might want to update here uh, when you ask them where they want their dumpster to be located. Uh, we have not found that out yet. Um, it was actually in this one, it was on the side of the yard. I would need to update that there. Gutters, you can specify them if we are replacing them. If we're not replacing them, then we'll fill out this information. Siding the same way, don't fill out the information if we're not replacing anything. Special instructions, you'll always see, see the addendum. This will always be in your contract. So get a good look at what this looks like. The, all this information is pretty similar besides the color. We always use this product and you have to count pipes. This is basic information that your leader will go over with you, but this is how you fill out the contract. The next is the important part. This never changes. And you'll see on the addendums that we offer financing for the deductibles or that we give some type of sign credit. We're gonna go over those two examples next. But for this, this is always filled out the same, which always the biggest number in the scope of the current uh, homeowner's scope of work or their insurance estimate. That's where we put that here. Let's click over here um, and you will see this, where we find this information. The first check, let's go over here. It says first check. This is obviously the homeowner's signature, my signature, the date it happened, but this is important. Um, the first check is always going to be, let's follow this down. The replacement cost value is the highest number on the summary page, summer of dwelling, which you've already learned about. The depreciated value is what they hold back until we complete all the work on the estimate, which is a full roof replacement. This is once we're done with this estimate, we will get this amount of money. The actual cash value, that's the first check they receive, was $4,849.69. They didn't really receive that amount of money. Why? You know that we have to take out their deductible. The homeowner's responsible for this. You'll notice that the parentheses means this comes later or this is deducted out. Parentheses usually means it's deducted out of this um, this summary of dwelling, it's deducted out. And the homeowner actually only received in their pocket when the insurance adjuster sent this through the mail or they wrote it out in their car, this estimate and gave them a check on site. They only received $1,009.69. That is noted here, always what they actually got from the insurance company. Noted firstly right here. As you see, and this will be the check number, a lot of the homeowners will go deposit it. They'll write you a check. You can write the check number on the insurance check if they just write the check over to you. Um, the balance is obviously, in this, the balance will always be the big amount or the balance, what you, how, or excuse me, the full uh, replacement agreed price is always the big amount. The balance due is obviously what the first check, it, uh, the, the big amount, which is 7,165 right here located on your summer of dwelling. We take out what they received, $1,009.69. The balance owed is simple. You do those calculations. 7,165.59 minus $1,009.69 gives you this value right here. We don't have a check number yet. We didn't receive that, so we don't put that dollar figure here. But that is as simple as I can make it of how to fill this out every time. Next, you'll be learning on the different addendums to write up in front of the homeowner. Thank you.